Hey guys, this is JNT. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. We have just started the next temple here in the Cobble Kingdom. Bombs by time. Okay. He who chooses the hidden path over the long road will cross in time. Huh. Okay, that one's time, as is that one. So before we try to cross one of those bridges, uh, we're just going to look around the area some more. Probably try to take out a few of the various enemies and such. Clear our path a little. and figure out where the traps are. Okay, this is the... That's the end for this side. Nothing else really to do this in this direction. Bet this way. Oops. Um. And that gives us an opening. Not that kind of opening. Alright, um... Yeah, we can get up there fairly quickly. There we go. I think once we've crossed once, we actually don't need to worry about the timing. The bridge just stays there. And now we fight something. Oh, just some stealth out there. We lit a torch, and it looks like we have to light the other one as well. made it. Just barely, but we made it. And just another couple stealth hosts. Nothing to really worry about. Alright, so 
that gets us down to the next level. Huh. It looked like it was going to be a bit more of a challenge. But oh well. And since I've got full health, I'll leave those two for the moment. New outfits, but same old stuff, I was... Interesting. Anything around that we can shoot. Oh, wait. We can cross it. Okay, I have no idea what these creatures are. They just seem to be steel shells that are chasing me around. Let's just figure this out the easy way. Actually, I recently uh, thought about it, and I'm sure someone will probably correct me. These aren't like-likes. Uh, these creatures are actually called Rudy-likes. we got a Rudo crown, which the Zoras have passed down for generations. Ruby-likes steal rubies, as we noticed in the past few episodes. Whereas like-likes steal your shield. And the ruby likes are the ones that have, well, the little ruby on them. There was one of these things earlier. I wonder what it is. I think I saw one in the Temple of the Ocean King, too. Looks like a switch, but it's rusty and probably won't budge if you stand on it. This is true. We need a new item to deal with those switches. Anyone who's played many other Zelda games probably knows what we need in order to deal with a rusty switch. like we're about to get it. A hammer. It's small but it packs a punch. Tap something to hit it. Tap and hold to build up pop. huge hammering power. Huge hammering power. And this hammer has some really long range. Touch the footprint, slam the pillar. Hold for power. Actually, I'm not sure if you need to hold for power. Oh, no, you don't. Not for this bit. Come on, Link, stand there.
And our hammer can deal with these things. Good. No treasure chests on this floor. Well guys, we're just about out of time. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. And next time we'll, well, head beyond this door and see what else we can find in this temple. Once again, my name is Jay on T. We are playing through The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Have a great day, guys. See ya.